All right, this week let's talk about DICOM. What is DICOM? In the simplest layman's terms, DICOM is the language or transfer protocol by which images move around a healthcare organization. When a ultrasound cart wants to send images to the PACs, it uses the DICOM protocol to make that connection and move the images about. When a physician double clicks on an image link and brings up images at a PC, that uses DICOM to make that magic happen. So DICOM stands for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. It is a fundamental and universal standard by which digital medical images are transferred, stored, and viewed. DICOM is not just a file format. A file format is a standard way that information is encoded for storage in a computer file. Most people are familiar with common image file formats such as JPEG, Bitmap, TIFF, Many people think DICOM or .DCM is simply the file format for medical images. DICOM is not just a file format, but rather a standard that governs the data, tra data transfer, archiving, and display protocol for all types of medical images. Let me repeat that. DICOM is not just a file format. It governs the language, the process by which these images are moved and archived. DICOM is about communication between devices that exchange medical images. Medical images are stored in a PAC system. What is a PACS? PACS stands for Picture Archive and Communication System. So let's break that down. Picture. No, I hate that word picture. A picture goes in a frame and gets hung on the wall. We work with medical images. Archive. Yes. PACS archives or stores medical images. Communication. PACS communicates with a lot of modalities, workstations, other devices. Communication is an important word in both PACS and DICOM, and both of those acronyms include the word communication. System. Yes, a PACS system is a system. I guess when you say PACS system, you're saying picture archive and communication system system. There are three main components of a PAC system. The first main component are the modalities. The modalities being the ultrasound cart, the CT scanner in the image here, the x-ray machines, the portable x-ray machines. The modalities acquire the images. They acquire them by scanning patients. They acquire the images. Then they send the second component of PACs. The second component of PACs is the archive. It's where the images are stored kind of in the same way that you store food in a refrigerator, we store images in a big archive. And last, the third main component of PACS is the workstations. Workstation is where technologists, physicians, ER doctors, everybody looks at the images. They come out of the archive and they're displayed on the computer monitors. So three main components, archive, I'm sorry, modalities, archive, and workstations are the three main components. Modalities. Any device that creates or imports DICOM images and can send them to PACS. The most obvious modality is the imaging equipment. The CT machines, the NUCMED, gamma cameras, the X-ray machines, the MRI machines, the ultrasound cards, the MAMO machines, the bone density scanners. Those are obviously modalities. But CD burners in the hospital can be modalities. If a patient brings in a CD that needs to be imported, you put the CD in the CD burner and it imports the images into PACS. Paper scanners can be modalities. In places like mammography and ultrasound, they have tech worksheets. The tech fills out before they scan the patient. They scan those through document scanners and those get sent to PACS. Anything that creates or imports DICOM images and sends them to PACS is a modality. Archive. This is where the DICOM images are stored. So this is obviously a warehouse. This is kind of like if we could take the archive apart and look into the archive server, this is what I imagine it would look like. Just rows and rows and rows of, of films and images stacked up, waiting to be taken out and viewed at workstations. And you see this guy right here, this guy? That guy is lost. Look at, look at the expression on his face. He's clueless. He has no idea where he's supposed to go from there. 
The review stations. These are computer workstations where DICOM images can be viewed. This is a, a pretty classic workstation here. You see that there's a color monitor on the left. This would be the color monitor here. And then you have two grayscale or black and white monitors that are barco monitors. These are special monitors for viewing medical images. So this would be a very typical review station. So in a time before PAX, once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, radiology images were done with film. And there were three major drawbacks to using film. Problem number one, the image could only exist in one place. Wherever that film was, that's where the image was. If the film was in the radiology department, that's the only place you could see the image. If it was in the emergency room, that was the only place you could see the image. It only existed in one place. The image display could not be changed is the second problem. However it looked on that film is how it looked. You couldn't change the brightness contrast. You couldn't magnify it. You couldn't zoom in. It's however it was on the film. And the third drawback is frequently the image got lost. Films would often go to the operating room for a procedure and never be seen again. A lot like socks in a dryer. And the good people of the galaxy needed a better way to store and display their images. And so PAX came to save the galaxy. A PAX system solves the problems of using film. With a PAX system, an image can be displayed simultaneously in multiple locations. The radiologist, the ER physician, and a specialist in Norway can all view the same image at the same time without being in the same room, the same country, the same continent. Through the magic of the internet, that image can be displayed anywhere in the world it's needed to be seen. With the PAC system, the image can be made lighter, darker, magnified. It can be manipulated in dozens of ways to make it easier to view the anatomy in the image. And with a PAC system, the image is copied and stored in multiple locations. The image should never ever get lost, and it will consequently never be unavailable to clinicians. So what magic does PAX use to perform all of these miraculous functions? Ta-da! DICOM. Yes, DICOM is what makes all of this magic possible. And you are going to learn all about DICOM in this semester. Thank you for watching.